Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Chucky Sock Show. And boy, don't we have a great show for you? We do! Seriously! Here he is, your host with the most, Charles Tucker! Thank you guys so much, thank you. Welcome back to the Chucky Sock Show. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today we got an interesting topic. I don't know why, but these skirt writers are always putting something weird in our talk show. Seriously. And of course, if you guys haven't subscribed to the comment season of Jamie Fisher, you guys will check it out. Link second link in the description below. It's about our new talk show season. So hope you get everything right. So today we're gonna be talking about the top ten CC two thousands shows. Seriously? Who writes this stuff? Anyway. Here he is, my good friend who was in the last social topic, so you guys want to check it out. Check it out, link in the description below. See, uh, Chucky Herbie. The only thing you did was a lesson to be here again, but the... Yeah, seriously, who is writing our stuff? Like, I just had a whole good topics of episodes, and they're just expanding it quick, you know? It's crazy. It's so crazy, man. Like, I'm telling you, they're just doing too much. But anyway, since I got you back on here again, um, we're going to talk about our favorite 2000 shows, which we're going to be talking about. I don't know, what the heck are we going to be talking about? Like, 2000s or like 2012? Uh, right. No, no, 2010. No, but the. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're going to do another top 10 of the shows, but this time. It's, in the 2000s. You know what? What about we just do it like this? We're going to start it off with 2000s all the way to 2010 because, you know, we don't want... I guess so. I mean, start 1000, put the rest of nothing. That would be... It'd be 10, so that'd be very easier for us to do. It'd be due to 2000, right. 2010. Anyway, so... If you're a fan with this, so you come to the right place. So, yeah, boy. let's kick off with number 10 on this list here. It's, it's the most... Show history. <clears throat> Kicking off from January 2000 is Chucky's Variety Show. This show has some great variety. Songs that that's from the old from 1990 and well, yeah, it's from 1990 actually. With some older emissions from 90s from the old 90s clips. And of course it's that feature the puppets too, so I mean hey, what uh, nothing new about that. <laughs> Alright, so, so here's another fun fact. Like how Chewbuck James, though, had a segment, well, Here this we show had 13 segments too! Exactly, and I should be uploading those things on the channel soon. You know what? I'm just bringing out this radio show, is so. I mean, I mean, like, I'm mean, like, holy shoot, another show with 13 segments? That's crazy! It is, and of course, here's a little trick up your sleeves. There's two versions of this show that a lot of people may or may not know. But there's one version of the existing version of seeing Cheese Pieces Pretty Light by Jasper and Hip Mouse by Munch. But in the other version has Cheese Pieces Pretty Light by Chucky and Hip Mouse is done by Chucky. So basically, if you guys have checked out, I don't know, by CEC Showtape Archie, then you know what I mean. Anyway. Right. Oh, and there's. And this is the only show that featured a birthday break. I don't know why. Because, don't don't uh, know why either. It's and, for only for a break before the show starts. Because I don't know whether it's a one minute or two minute or right. three minute option. Right, and I of course, really we know. get to Who see. Who came up with birthday breaks anyway? <sighs> don't know. And we get to see the Lady the Technician scene played by the one and only Jamie or Robert. Hmm. Can't remember. Anyway. Can't remember. I guess Lighter Than Technician was played by Doug and Brett. I think so. Oh, no, no, not the voice, but, you know, the, the character, you know. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't check it out, honestly. I haven't checked it out that much, but anyway, uh, what year are we on now? Oh, right. 2001. Right. So, right? Uh, right. 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 Right.
it, it's all about, well, if you want to head back to your book about fairy tales, then Chucky's Rocket Rhymes is for you. Right. This is actually one of the songs. I don't think it was actually like a fairy tale, to be honest. But uh, this is one of the good shows that they played around this time. Kicking it up with Party Place, one of the best songs on the list. And, of course, they had a lot of good songs, a lot of good, somewhat nursery rhymes. And, of course... More hip-hop to it. Right. Something what the New Day music uh, during the 2000s would actually would say. And, of course, this does have... Well, not a, lot, not a lot of puppet footage, as I would actually would mention, but it's got some good songs in. You know, one of my favorites I love to say is Three Little Investors or Jack and Jill. You know, well, this is the first show to be actually finding out about the Chucky puppet. And also, fun fact, this is the only show that it, the first time ever made that the puppet version of Chucky e. Cheese Mags debuted in the music video Little Red Riding Hood. Right, and of course, Little Investors, and we don't get to talk to him that much, you know, because he don't really be around a lot. During the show, since yeah. it was, since it was still your C and still your C. Anyways, so we had moving on. Oh, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, two thousand and two. Oh, on what's here? It's from two thousand two. Why about you introduce this one? Cause, Cause you're you actually. Did I say it twice. Well, okay, hold on a second. What about you introduce this one? Cause you was born around two thousand two. Oh, right, right, right. I'll just say two thousand three. Coming up on number. Uh, Eight, yeah. Coming up at number eight on this list, it's the most, the most, the most great show in history. I mean, am I saying history a lot? Yes, <laughs> you, you are, right? but this is the January ninety two. Um, <clears throat> crap. Wrong, wrong. Script here. January two thousand two. That's better. January two thousand two show. Yeah, the reason I'm only letting you doing this one because you was born around this time, and I think that's one of your favorite shows. Actually, you kind of love, huh? Right. So, this show, this this show is kind of, this show is kind of a little great. I mean, we got, they got songs like, I'm walking on sunshine. And, and don't forget, to get in there. What are you doing here, Munch? I have no idea. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Sometimes we had these characters in our shows for no reason. So, yeah. And, of course, dinner. Thank you so much, Munch. Sorry. And, of course, one of my personal favorites. Bring the house down. Make you want to scream. More, more, more. Okay, yeah. You know, I love, I love that song. So, I don't know why. I don't know why. Just something about those vocals really got me. Anyway. Also, this was the only show that features this minute here. You got underwater status, but the there you go again. it's that squash Pokemon. Hell, yeah. For some reason, these writers of the shows back then, you got all of them. Okay, cool. And also, and that is the only show that Wilfred the Nutrition Guy is back again. That's true. Anyway, what year are we on? 2002. I'm like, I'm losing track of it. Alright, so I'm. 2003! Okay. Alright. Okay. Kick it up on. Uh... Oh, 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 my favorite, my favorite, this one. Okay. Kicking off with 2003. It's one of my favorites. Hopefully, your Actually, favorite. It's, um, number seven. Yeah, it is number seven. As I was saying, <clears throat> let's go back in time or to the year 3000, to the 50s, to the Wild West. What am I saying? I am talking about April 2003. This is one of the, not the only first show actually, to introduce Dr. Googleplex. And of course, you may not know he has been introduced in the May 98 show. Dr. Googleplex invented a time machine. Kind of figure that other movie that has a time machine, you know? And this also made its return of The Future Looks Fun to Me, but never did. Came in, you know. What's your thoughts of it? Hmm. And 
And also, if you, if you know the words of what Dr. Goofless said, let me help you out here. <coughs> Hanky, Frankie, Dicky, Jenny, Gobble, Jobber, do. Oh, time travel is the thing we do? Right. And of course, it did have a little back the Back to the Future reference, you know, with Jasper calling Pasquale a chicken, you know, when uh, Maury McFly is called a chicken. Eh, 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 chicken, eh, chicken, get it, chicken, no pun intended, folks. Okay, anyway, we're just getting off track now, man. We know we're having a good time over here now. And what about you introduce the next one from 2004? I forgot something. This show was the only show that had standalone songs. I'm kind of surprised. No kidding. I mean, Pasquale got his own song called The Italian Street Song. And Munch got his own song called I Love It Beyond. Which it was just intermission songs where they just come out. Don't know why. Yeah. Anyways, coming up on number six on the list here. Coming up on number six on the list here. It's the most... It's the most interesting show. I, I would like to call... The September 2004 show, also known as the Chuck E. Cheese show. Wait, that, that's not right here. It doesn't make sense, honestly, but anyway. It doesn't make sense either. Hey, come on, continue on with 2004, uh, with this show. Okay. So, September 2004 is an interesting show, but got some songs like, Boom to me world. Oh, sorry. Okay, so and let's not forget, what a wonderful world. And of course, smile. And what up? And I want my Chuck E. Cheese. Which doesn't sound weird at all. Okay, so anyway, yeah, this show is actually really good. Really good show. So kicking out with number five, we're on set 2005. We're gonna cross. <laughs> Picking up on this number five on the list here, it's the most, well, hmm, technically a show in history, whenever it's a winter wonderland or something, I would like to call January 2005. Right. Show's pretty good, it has Which, well, it's got some good songs like, Keep it grooving. And let's not forget. Chores? Well, let's not forget that mailman. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, the mailman song. This was actually the time when the one token was actually promoted at Chuck E. Cheese locations. But yeah, right. let's not forget the mailman. Because, you know, we got to play back the oldies and goodies again to the show. Nostalgic, you know. Just, it just gets to you. Anyway. Kicking up with number four is September 2006. Which I believe that this, it, this is technically a good show. Yeah, I a mean, lot of people are saying this is great nostalgic, so, I mean, we all gotta agree. September 2006 is the best show in CC history. <sighs> right, right, but the... Technically, it gives the show a different feel about it. Yeah, you know, something like a nostalgic feel with, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't, you would just explain. I mean, good songs on here like, Hold my hand, I want you to hold my hand, hold my hand, I want to take you to the promised land, cause I want to love you the best, oh, sorry. Okay, as I was saying, but the... Also, two songs are returning, like, from, um, from April 2002, That's a Deal, and yeah, from April 2004, Dreamin'. It's like it in my head, I'm dreamin'. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, this is nostalgic. Come on. <laughs> this show was one, it was one freaking nostalgic. Yeah, right. sorry folks, I'm just over here having a good mood in Hoss, but speaking so, um, of... Anyway, coming up on number three on the list. 
coming up on number three on the list. It's the most, well, well, technically, it's like a good show. I call this one April 2007. Ah, I thought going to say January for a second. Yeah, this song really has some good times in it, besides the fact that uh, Pasquale hit his head. But yeah, this one's really good. Good songs like Celebration and, um, and um, you know, all that good stuff. So anyway, let's kick it off with number eight. Number eight, number eight, number eight. I mean, don't you mean, um, uh, number, number two on the list? Oh, yeah, number two, sorry. Yes, kick out with number two for the year of 2008. We got April 2008. I mean, what is this? Like, two April shows? Come on. Hey, hold on a second. We got, like, three April shows on this list. Come on. And we got, like, two September shows on this list. And three January shows on this list. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have... I don't know why, okay? We didn't mention a lot, but... The last one I get to you is gonna be out of a January, a April, or a September. One of those three. Hey. Okay, April 2008. Right April 2008. Anyways, forget April 2008. Hey! I mean... I didn't introduce what? it. What? Trying to make things here, okay? Wait, no, no. Move, we're kicking on with number two on the list. Oh, okay, There's fine. January 2008, which in my opinion, it's... It's a pretty decent show. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That makes it... Okay, fine. But yeah, I thought some good songs in, too. You know, Burn well, Burning Love was actually good. And, of know. course, there's good songs, like, you know, like... But I'll tell you some rough news. What? That's the name of the song. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a vacation loving you. Whoa. Oh, sorry. And plus, there's some familiar song called Taking Care of Business. We get Which, up every you know, morning and the long car started through the well, 8 bit you know. bitty to the city. There's a whistle up above and people pushing, people shoving. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, so, um, the last, coming on to number one, which is the last one on the list here, is April 2009. Yes, yeah. this popular show of all time, April 2009. Okay, seriously, I told you it was going to be an April one. I told you. I, just, I called it out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. come on. Can, can I introduce this one? This is like one of my favorite shows as a kid. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, you can introduce like one of the reused songs I actually came in, too. So, anyway. So, April 2009 is one of the best shows, I gotta say, one of the best storyline plots ever. It starts off with Munch not feeling well because, you know, Munch always loved to eat pizza. And so, the band are like on this strange mission of finding out where Munch is wrong they try to see where his heart been missing um i don't know about 72 i mean 72 was actually you know i don't know <clears throat> but uh they think that munch need a little vacation but instead munch decided to eat the ski balls that's disgusting but it has a lot of good songs too honestly like you're my friend and on top of the world and my favorite from jasper only jasper song ever was sh shit shit shaking sh shaking on sh shit shaking you know, it's good good footage right all right there. but this is right. the only show that features the first ever superhero like super wait, grover wait, wait. look open the sky oh oh it's a bird oh it's a plane it's super no, grover it's the world's most favorite mouse super grover super chucky oh right which that became a live show, but also had the reused footage from August 97, or I like they call it, Secret Age Man. Right. One of our favorites, one of our close favorites. But yeah, again with the ski ball thing, that's just disgusting. Kids, do not try that at home or at Chuck E. Cheese's because I don't know what the heck. <laughs> this was a good story plot, you know. Anyway, thank you guys again for tuning in. Even though our scriptwriters like to mess everything up back there. 
And once again, let's get a round of applause for Chucky Herbie. Stick around for the Will we'll be right back. Again, seriously, like if these script writers know what they're doing, then we'll be fine. But then again, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching Chucky Talk Show. Make sure you guys check out the new channel because we are um, getting ready for the new one. So basically, I'm going to say this right now, and you know, if everyone else is listening at home, for those who are always wondering when the new top is going to be released, I'm going to tell you this right here, right now, so you better like repeat this video again and again and again. When we are finished with our last talk show topic, which hopefully will be in by November, I will introduce the new talk show topic out of on this channel or the Constant Cheese channel. So guys, go make sure you guys follow or subscribe to those two channels and follow me on Instagram because you will not know when it will be released because I don't know when it's going to be released yet on which two of them. But stay tuned because it's going to be a huge surprise. And I know Herbie don't know what it is yet. He doesn't. He doesn't know about it yet. But I guarantee you, the bud is coming in on season two. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, you got anything else to say? Oh. And be sure to subscribe to Content Cheese Entertainment or on Instagram to more, for more updates for sure. And stick around because if someone's having it in there somewhere, like what this said, it's news to me. That's true. And thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for more Talky Talk. Oh my god, I can't even talk today. Chucky Talk Show Topics, and we'll catch you guys later, and we're out! And we'll see you guys next time on the Chucky Talk Show! See you then!